Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ali. If you're new, I upload beauty, Bible, and lifestyle videos here on my video on my channel. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Wow, so <laughs> I'm finally filming, oh my gosh, there goes my phone. I'm finally filming in our new house. It's so exciting. This is our office workout filming room. <laughs> and yeah, it's really echoey. Uh, one day I was listening to something in here and Brian was like, man, this room has good acoustics. And now that I'm filming and I can hear myself talking, I'm like, I feel like I need to be whispering. It's not so much of an echo, but literally like the way the sound is in this room, perfection, perfection. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get into this to into today's video and I have for you guys my monthly product empties. Like how proud are y'all of me for keeping up with empties with all the moving, packing, unpacking, like your girl was on it. I was really keeping up with stuff. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get into this and I'm just gonna grab from what's on top. Okay, so first thing first is this Downy Infusions Bliss um, fabric, what do they even call this? Fabric conditioner, and um, it's no longer called fabric softener, but it's called a fabric conditioner. This one smells really good. It smells really, really good. Um, this just did, and I finished it up because I wasn't gonna waste money, but this just made like all of, I think there's too much perfume in this way too much fragrance and stuff in this because it just made like all of my family's skin itchy and bumpy and this is a no-go for my family but if your family doesn't suffer from some sensitive skin i would try this out it makes your clothes smell amazing it's just too much for my family's skin but it was really good though the next thing i got is this febreze unstoppables what is it called touch fabric spray I absolutely love this one, specifically the one with the green top, which is the Paradise scent. And this one is much better than the blue top to me. Like I have one of the blue tops, but from now on, I think I'll only be buying the green top. I feel like this one lasts so much longer on whatever you spray it on and the smell lingers longer. And honestly, I, oh, cause I know somebody's gonna say like, I thought you were all about like natural scents and yada, yada, yada. I only use this once a week on beds, couches, carpets and i this is just a part of my deep cleaning routine to get like and honestly i can't get the new house smell out of my house <laughs> um so but yeah i've been using this and yeah it's really good this one's my favorite so if you're not like you don't really care about chemicals and all that kind of jazz i really really like this one okay so this was actually an entire thing i feel like i'm way too low Okay, so this was actually an entire thing of cotton rounds, cotton rounds, yeah. Used that up, I mean, I use it for my toner, so yeah. But this was brand was from Dollar General, the ones that were in the boxes. It didn't have a specific brand on it, but I didn't like these because they shed a lot. Like, I, I don't know if you've ever had cotton rounds that shed. That's what these do. I wasn't a fan of it. So yeah, I'm probably waking up my kids now. And hopefully they'll be quiet for the rest of my filming session. Okay. Um, next thing we went through was this native eucalyptus and mint, right? Yeah, eucalyptus and mint body wash. I love this body wash. It actually has pretty good ingredients. It's not super um, bad. Like, it's not terrible. I think probably the worst thing in here is um, citric acid and the salts in here. But that's it. But other than that, like, it's not it's not a terrible body wash and we really really like it okay so i did save this um i don't usually save my food empties but i did want to tell you guys that this dunkin donuts caramel caramel me crazy coffee is bomb like we literally finished a whole bag and that's because we rarely drink coffee but we were on it i guess last month drinking coffee because we finished one and that one was really really good okay so i have two lotions here i have the lubriderm dermatol or the lubriderm lotion this is the normal to dry skin fragrance free really liked it we just needed something a little bit thicker i think if you don't have super dry skin you'll really like this it's moisturizing but it's not ultra hydrating if that makes sense so maybe if you don't suffer with super dry skin you'll like this one 
my entire family needed something a little bit more so we got the lubiderm for like extra dry skin i think it was called or deep intense something but yeah we will finish that one up and then we finished up an eos um shea butter 24 hour moisture lotion this one was in pomegranate raspberry really love this but again my husband breaks out with fragrance i'm not the biggest fan of putting fragrant like fragrance lotions on and so i uh yeah we won't be repurchasing this brand but all of these do smell really really good and they're super hydrating super good yeah it's like a thousand okay so in the last couple of months month and a half or so we uh, went through two of the small Thayer Breath mouthwashes. Now these really, really work. I feel like I never struggled with bad breath at all using these. Um, and they're not super spicy. They don't make your mouth burn or anything like that. These are really good. And once we finish up what we already have, like in our back stock, I'll start buying the big ones of this. And again, like it's just super good. Absolutely love it. This really does help you with morning breath, bad breath, all of that. I highly recommend these. Okay, so the next thing I went through was this Downy Cool Cotton, um, the scent beads. This scent has probably got to be my most favorite one. Yeah, this one has to be my most favorite one. I just, there's just something about it that reminds me of my childhood. This scent reminds me of something that my grandma would use, and I think that's why I love it so much. But it is like, so, now it doesn't smell like mature, older woman, but... I don't know like just the freshness of it like i don't know this is the cotton cool cotton scent i really really like it go smell it so good it's probably my favorite one okay. so before we moved i did purchase this mr clean clean freak deep cleaning mist and i continued and i used this on the old house just because as we were moving out i wanted it to be super sanitized for our, like for the next tenants didn't want any risk of anybody getting sick that moved in after us because brian did get covid in december and then i had it in september and the boys had some kind of illness it wasn't covid it wasn't the flu they were just sick high fever so i was just making sure to like use like all the you know germ killing things and so yeah but that's why i haven't repurchased it that's why i'm even throwing away the reusable top because i don't plan on repurchasing it again now that this is our home we're keeping it 95 percent chemical free <laughs> just to be transparent about 95 percent chemical free so i will not be purchasing this one again hey ethan Okay, I did go through some panty liners. I got these. This is from the HEB brand, the Feud and Future by HEB. These are the ultra thin panty liners. These were, I'm not even showing y'all the label, but they look like this. These were organic, co co organic cotton panty liners. I really like these. They weren't irritating. They also didn't leave you like feeling wet or anything like that, or like you needed to change, if that makes sense. They actually really absorbed really well. I really, really liked that brand. Um, I would definitely repurchase that. Uh, then the other things that we went through, like I said, November, December was just like a month of sickness in my family. Um, allergies, whatever blew through this town was going crazy. Like I said, my boys were sick. I was sick, not with COVID in November. Brian was sick in November, not with COVID. Brian didn't get COVID till December. But like we were just all sick, didn't know what it was, was testing negative for everything. And so, but we were loving these um, Vicks Vapo, Vapo, Vapo Bath Crystals. These were so, I mean, it's exactly what it sounds like, soothing vapors. So while you're soaking in a bath, you're just kind of like opening up your lungs and being able to breathe and it's relaxing and these are so awesome so far they have been sold out everywhere i have looked but dr tills has a vaporizing salt um bath salt so check out that one i don't think very many people know about that one yet but it seemed like everybody know about the vix one so check out look for the dr tills vapo bath salt thing and they have a bubble bath but yeah this was really really good and i haven't been able to find it since i bought this one keeping up with the sick theme we went through like two or three of these boxes of theraflu i just happened to keep this one we also had a nighttime one but yeah lots of theraflu we used up um we're not usually medicine people but when i tell you we needed it we needed it when we moved in they gave us a brand new dishwasher and they left us this little sample of the cascade platinum rinse aid 
Um, I actually really like the way I was leaving the dishes, so I did buy not the same brand, but another rinse aid. I really didn't think they made a difference, but turns out they do. So if you have a dishwasher, buy a rinse aid. And then I also have been loving this Dr. Teal's moisturizing bath and body oil. So if I'm not soaking in a bath, I love to just put this on my loofah and just give me like a nice, good melatonin sleep. Um, help me fall asleep and it's made with essential oil, sweet almond oil, cocoa butter, and jojoba oil. Really, really good. Smells amazing. The baths with this are lovely and relaxing. Highly recommend that. We went through some toothpaste. Not much to say about that. Went through a charcoal cleaner cleanser. I like charcoal cleansers as my nighttime cleanser just to really, really get like all the things out. I found a Shea Moisture one that I'm using right now. It's not my favorite, but at least it's a little bit more cleaner ingredients, so I'll stick with it. But yeah, this one um, is really good, but again, it's not the best for your skin. So yeah. Let's see, let's see. Oh, look at this. Um, so apparently, we went through tons of toothpaste. My boys went through a Hello toothpaste this was their natural watermelon one and then brian and i went through one of our hello um charcoal this is their uh fluoride free toothpaste in epic whitening and then we used a uh dove original body soap i couldn't find the sensitive this is what i use for down there um it worked all right i still don't feel like it works as good as the sensitive one though so yeah, I have a backup of sensitive, but I just bought this one because I had packed up all my backup ones when we were in the old house. And now that I now I have access to all my sensitive ones, but yeah, that was that was alright. It was alright. Okay, one thing Brian and I have been loving are these Sudra Immunity Boost shots. These are so these are so good. And I feel like Brian did not get symptoms as bad as like I did when I had got sick with covid but these really really helped like just boosty like getting that energy boost getting that like immunity boost just really helped him like be able to keep going and keep kicking it and like he was able to be up and moving around i was not but yeah these um, were really really good and they have all kinds of immunity shots they have one that's just zinc and vitamin d they have an orange one this elderberry one probably tastes the best but yeah um, my sweet little niece, um, whenever we got in the car wreck, she went and found me a bath bomb so that way I could soak the soreness away. And she got me this Bora Bora um, geode, geode bath bomb. It was, it was lovely. It had like my bath water all glittery and I'd clean out all glowy and it was so nice and she's so cute. All right, went through a couple face and sheet mask type deals. I'm gonna grab all the little masking mask deals. Um, before I go on, I did use up a floss. I did go through a floss. If you've ever had braces, you know you gotta just always floss. Floss, floss, floss your teeth. Floss your teeth. I've even bought the boys some little like floss stick things. Flossing really does make a difference. <laughs> Okay, what else? I went through a um, Heritage Light as a Feather Leave-In Conditioner. I really absolutely, oh, I absolutely love this stuff, but man, is it hard to find in stock. Like you, I better start buying them in two when I get lucky and find them in stock, stock because they are so hard to find. Okay, I did finish up this Pure Lisse, um Pineapple Bright Gel Cream. This was my morning, Jesus. This was my morning moisturizer for a while. I really liked it. It smelled good. I noticed that it did really help um, even my skin tone. Anything vitamin C will help even your skin tone, and this one was really good at it. Um, I went through <laughs> lots of skincare products, actually. Um, but before we move on... Uh, I did get these little samples in a Walmart order of Dove Hair Therapy Breakage Germany. These were actually really good. Like, I, so good it actually made me consider buying the full size of these, but I know I wouldn't use it. I just always buy what's paraben free, phthalate free, phthalate free, sulfate free, the cheapest that I can afford of that kind of stuff. But yeah, these were really, really good actually. I love the way my hair felt after I used them. I also went used a papaya sheet mask and an aloe sheet mask, and then I used one of my 
eye mask which are in every single empties video okay and then i did use up uh the ordinary hyaluronic acid the way that i found that this works best for me is to put it on under my moisturizer in the morning rather than on top of my moisturizer so i'll do my toner and then i'll go in with this and then i'll do my moisturizer and anything else and i feel like this really helps pull in all the moisturizing properties of whatever you're putting on top of it and then i also used um a night went through a niacinamide one and i really like that one as well i could really tell a difference in the size of my pores I really need to buy another one. The one that I'm really, really sad that I used up is this Honey Girl, Honey Girl Ultra Hydrating Face Oil from Pharmacy. Cause I was putting this in my eyelashes, I was putting this in my eyebrows. Not so not only was it hydrating my skin, but it was helping me grow some brows and some lashes. And I really need to find a dupe or really repurchase this because I really, really loved it. And the girl has been doing her makeup just nearly what every single day and we have used up three eyebrow pencils two wet and wild ones and a one wonder beauty one all empty and all used up so freaking cool we also went through two foundations we used the LA girl tinted foundation and the color pop pretty fresh I kind of like this one more than this one but they're both really good this one's like a few dollars cheaper than this one but again both really good this one i just liked it more and i had the shade medium 11 in on this one and the shade tawny on this one so yeah both super good loved both of them for every single day all right so i used up this laneige water sleeping mask this was my gift last year from sephora and then as well as this belief um the true cream moisturizing balm Used up both of those, really good, really great. Didn't cause me to break out or anything. Um, I also got this little Sweet Chef Oat Milk Latte Cleanser. I found this at Target. Mm, it's not the best cleanser. Okay, that would probably be like a morning time cleanser if you ask me, not for you to take off makeup with. It was not great about that. I really like these Clean It Zero, this Clean It Zero brand, so good. Really like how well it takes off your makeup and removes it. Well, I would definitely repurchase that. And then I went through two face powders. I'm not gonna open this one because it's all broken, but the NYX um, Can't Stop Won't Stop powder, I need to repurchase this. I absolutely loved this. And then my little mini um, Charlotte Tilbury powder. I'm so proud of myself for using up this much makeup, you guys. But yeah, that is it for my empties. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you guys used up last month. Were you kind of excited to see me use up so much more makeup? um yeah and are you have i'm just so happy to be back here with you guys like it's been so long since i filmed that i was actually nervous to sit down and film this because tiktok is so casual and i was like oh man like i've been leaving my ladies hanging over on youtube but yeah if you really really miss me here i'm super active on tiktok so go follow me i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more and if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.